Welcome to the Carnival Breeze. We're going to take a look at this ship from the top down. It has 13 decks and can hold 3,600 passengers. I'm really excited to show you, so let's get started. I like to start at the very top. So we're going to head to deck 15, which is the Serenity deck. And this is the sun deck for the adults only, 21 and older. They have tons of loungers and different kinds of seating where you can enjoy the sunshine and the breezes. And they even have two hot tubs, one on each side of the ship. Let's go check it out. The Serenity deck wraps around the front of the ship and they have a bar and you can get towels here as well. And surrounding the front of the ship, you have these clamshell beds. Provide some shade, but also some privacy. Going around on the other side, of course, you're gonna find more loungers and another hot tub. And of course, you can check out the slides. Next up inside is deck 14, and that is the spa. And they have multiple treatment rooms and various services that they offer. Right below deck 14 is the fitness center and that is on deck 12. From the gym inside on 12, we're gonna head outside and check out the slides. And around the slides, you'll find various types of seating there are loungers, and there are also chairs with little tables. I love this view of the main pool deck. It's a great little spot to take pictures of the ship. And there are walkways on each side of the ship, all the way to the back. And at the back of the ship on deck 12, you're gonna find the jogging track. And of course, there's mini golf and the ropes course and the sports court all the way back here. At the back of the ship on deck 12 is a view of the aft pool. We're gonna head down to deck 11, and this is where you'll find some seating at the back of the ship, which is actually really nice. And it has a great view of the ocean or of the port, and usually there's a nice breeze back here. And inside on deck 11 is Cucina del Capitano, which is their Italian restaurant. And I can vouch it's very tasty. Cucina also overlooks the buffet. And Cucina offers free pasta lunch, and there is a cost for dinner. All right, we're gonna head on deck 11 towards the middle of the ship. As you can see, there's a great view of the ocean with just railings and a lot of loungers. That's what you'll find on both sides of the ship. When you come to the middle of deck 11, you'll see the main pool and there are seats here with cushions and footrests. It's really nice and comfortable all the way around the pool. Inside by the main pool on deck 11 is Camp Ocean, and that's the kids' clubs. All right, and we're gonna head down to deck 10, the main pool deck. Surrounding the pool deck, they have two bars and two restaurants. First up is Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. There's seats in the shade and lots of loungers right by the pool.
check out this pool. I do like the seating around this pool where you could put your feet in the water and cool off and it's under the shade, which is really nice. The other bar is the Red Frog Rum Bar. And this is one of my favorites because they have some yummy fruity drinks. And for food, one of the options is Guy's Burgers. And this is free, so you can get a burger and fries. And back on the other side is Blue Iguana Cantina. And this is where you'll find tacos and burritos and some really yummy food. And it is also free. They offer breakfast and lunch. And on deck 10 inside by the pool is the Lido Marketplace. And they have various foods and options here. Of course, everything here is free. And of course, a lot of seating. It can get pretty full at certain times of the day. But I do like the decor in here. They have trees with little light lanterns. I just think it adds to the whole theme. It's really cool. And at the back of the Lidl Marketplace is the entrance to the aft pool. And the aft pool has options with food and drink as well. Let's go check it out. First up is Seafood Shack, and this is food for a cost, so you would pay, but there are many seafood options. There's plenty of places to sit. And we're gonna head over to the other side, which the other option for food is Pizza Pirate, and this is free. You can also have pizza delivered to you directly from the Pizza Pirate anywhere on the ship, but there is a cost for that. And right next to Pizza Pirate is the bar. So this is fun. They serve a lot of fun drinks back here. And of course, it's very convenient if you're enjoying the aft pool. And the aft pool also has two large hot tubs on either side of the pool. And decks nine, eight, seven, and six are for cabins. So we're gonna head to deck five, starting at the atrium, which is a really nice space. They have performances here and there's a bar downstairs, but you can overlook the atrium on deck five. And surrounding the atrium are all the shops. So you find anything that you need here. There's candy, there's clothing, there's jewelry, all kinds of stuff. And at the front of the ship on deck five is the theater. This has entrances on deck five, four, and three. And this is where they do the bingo and large show projections. And back at the atrium going the other way is the casino. And this is a pretty large casino. They have a bar and they also have a lot of different games. So I found that most of the games are fairly new and popular. And right next to the casino is Ocean Plaza, where they have indoor and outdoor seating. There's a stage here for live music, a coffee shop, and also connected is the Alchemy Bar. Just past the Ocean Plaza is Bonsai Sushi. And just beyond Banzai, you'll find the Red Frog Pub. 
And here they have a lot of fun bar games. There's good bartenders and they also have a stage so they have live music as well. So it is a lot of fun hanging out here. And just past the Red Frog Pub is the nightclub. You'll find Deck 5 as the nightly entertainment zone. There's a lot of things back here. We're gonna check out the piano bar. It is a lot of fun. They have, not every night, but they do have the piano bar open certain nights and it's usually a very good time. There's a lot of laughs and singing along. There's also Limelight Lounge back by the piano bar and this is where they'll do comedy and other different events. It's actually a really fun space. There's a lot of seating and it's just a good time. And tucked away in the corner back by the Limelight Lounge is the steakhouse. So if you're looking for a nice steak, this is where you would go and find that. Um, it's back by the Limelight Lounge. And outside on deck five, you'll find seating all the way around and you'll even have outdoor seating where the Ocean Plaza is, outdoor seating where the Red Frog Pub is, and of course, great views from the back of the ship. And bonus, on this ship there are two hot tubs on deck five as well. So it's almost like you're getting extra hot tubs <laughs> on this ship. And outside on deck five, you'll find Piggy Anchor, which is a barbecue joint, and they have that open certain days while you're on the cruise. All right, we're gonna head down to deck four. This is where the teen club is, and it is pretty flashy, pretty fun little spot to hang out, I'm sure. It's a good time. And on deck four, there's the arcade. It's a lot of fun games. There's also the non-smoking casino. So there's a second casino on the ship. It is on deck four and it is all non-smoking this entire area. There's some good games in here as well. And along deck four, there are nice seats here with tables and they have a library bar. So if you want a nice quiet place to sit and just relax and be away from all the crowds, this is a good spot to go. Further down on deck four near the atrium is the photo gallery. So throughout your cruise, you'll see tons of pictures here where you can purchase that with different packages that they have. Also, you'll find the restaurant, the Blush Restaurant, and this is on deck four and deck three, and this is where you'll have sea day brunch in the main dining room here. All right, we're gonna head down to deck three. And this is where the main floor of the atrium is. Also, there's the atrium bar, and they have guest services and shore excursions down here. And almost every night in the atrium, you're gonna find some sort of music or some sort of event and activity, and it's a lot of good energy. It's a lot of fun, so be sure to not miss out on that. And right off of the atrium is the Sapphire Restaurant, which is another main dining room. course the lower level of the theater this is deck three and as you can see there's some really good seating they have tables and couch style seating and lastly we're going to take a look at a balcony room on the breeze this is a very spacious room Of 
course, there's a couch and lots of storage space. Nice amenities in the bathroom here. It looks quite roomy with a shower curtain rather than a door. And that will do it for my tour of the Carnival Breeze. I hope that you enjoyed. Please have a great time on your cruise. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon.